مولانا شیخ شام کبانی شیخ ادنان کبانی شیخ محمد عادل ما عبد خالق الخوشدوانی سهل زمان سید محمد المهدی علیه السلام روح الله سیدنا عیسی علیه السلام سیف الله سیدنا علیه السلام ثم سیدنا ابوبکر صدیق سیدنا عمر سیدنا عثمان امام الحسن علیه السلام امام الحسین علیه السلام سیداتنا فاطمه علیه السلام وسائر سادتنا والصدقين عن فاتحة الشيخ أتي على سيد الكريم آمين إن شاء الله إن شاء الله فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول ولو الأمر منكم <coughs> and always a reminder for myself and Abdukul, Ajisu, Ta'ifu, Miskeen, Zawal, and Jahal. And for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence, alhamdulillah, in this ishq and muhabbat of Prophet and in the way of love for awliyaullah, relationships and people continuously asking about establishing a relationship and finding a spouse, finding that one. And from these ways of haqqaiq it teaches us that the getting to know someone is not the understanding. This is a western philosophy, thinking that if you observe a person for a week, two months, two years, I'll get to know them and therefore that I can make a more educated decision. And the philosophy hasn't worked and 99% of relationships have failed. And what Prophet brought for us is based on good character. There was no need to get to know somebody, the relationships were already arranged and they had an immense success rate but its secret was in the character and akhlaq. That we talked on man- Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mannerisms, and this has to do with the reality of juzbah. Our whole life is about our good character and the ability to keep a juzbah and an energy. That when our energy is good, the mannerisms are good, the practices are good, there's a tremendous emanation of energy emitting from the servant's heart. That very energy for the servant is what keeps them connected to the Divinely Presence. And we can go back into the talks of magnetism and juzba and this is a, a deep reality of a magnet within our being. And the magnet's formation is Allah's grant and our responsibility is in the good character that keeps the magnet to be clean. The goodness of character, not the brain, not the thought processes but the khuluq, 
the character of insan, when they have the good character within the heart, Allah's magnetism is placed within the servant's heart to want to come towards the Divine. That's why Allah describes in Surah An-Nur that we allow our name to be mentioned. Praying to Allah is not your power because the call to prayer after Hayal al-Salah wa Hayal al-Falah is La hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi aliyul adheem. Admitting to ourselves that I have no help and no power except in Allah to even arise to get up and pray. So this is a magnetic power from Allah a juzba, we'll speak in the Western terminology. It's magnetism, Divinely grace has to be from Allah placed and the heart that's clean hears the call. So when we say hear the call what is that the magnet is understanding. And all the iron within the person because the magnetism is real, it's not a philosophy. The reason your blood is red is because there's iron in the blood. And the nazma and, and qudra it attaches to the iron in the blood because our energy doesn't attach to bone, doesn't attach to water. It moves through water in its conductivity but it actually attaches to iron. So what makes us an energetic being is that secret of iron within our blood. So when energies come the iron resonates, the purity of the zikr, the purity of the energy gives the purity of that iron and the person begins to resonate with an energy and an aura. And with their cleanliness and good character, clean character, their good manners, they hear the call towards the Divine and their life is moving in that direction. They feel an inner yearning, they describe in many different words, oh I felt a, a yearning, a calling, I felt a pull, this all has to do with magnetism. And those whom Allah has destined for guidance and destined for these realities Allah puts the power of that magnet towards Prophet where the believer begins to have an immense love for Allah and then Allah puts the love within that servant's heart, that love Sayyidina Muhammad If you love me, love what I love. The greatest of what I love, the greatest of all creation is to love Sayyidina Muhammad because he's going to teach you khuluq al -Azim. he's going to teach you how to love all my Prophets, all my books and all my creation. So send you to the best to understand the best and most common and perfected love. That's why Prophet because Prophet taught us to love all the Prophets of Allah and make no distinction and they're all brothers. And that's why in the Lataif al-Qalb the secret of the love of all the Prophets keeps us to be common and perfected. Without one we're missing a key. So that Allah go to the perfected love. And that He will perfect your character. I want you to eat like Him, drink like Him, sleep like Him, walk like Him, dress like Him Whatever we do of human action is based on the character, mannerisms and the way of Sayyidina Muhammad It's immense. That what, what does somebody need more than that to understand how much Allah loves that reality? I don't want to see you if you're not eating, drinking, walking, talking, breathing, dressing other than that way because this is the way of perfection. And that's why we're Ahl Sunnah is to keep the way of Prophet Fatabiuni 
Then what Allah granted? Yuhibbukumullah, I will love you. And then Ghafoor, I will forgive all your sins because you're eating, drinking, walking, talking, dressing everything like my Habib with good character. Some people say, I saw people with sunnah, they were vulgar. I saw people wearing kufi, they were vulgar. But they have to have khuluq al azim that they keep the way of Prophet in the immensity of the mannerisms, soft spoken because they know that Prophet is always with them. How could they risk Prophet walking away? As a result, Allah puts the magnet within our hearts that, I want you to direct your heart to that reality and they find themselves yearning for the presence of Prophet because Allah's reality is within that heart. La ilaha illallah can only be found in Muhammadun Rasulullah That's what the kalima means. Because La ilaha illallah is the goal but you can't get there without Muhammadun Rasulullah So means that you have to go through the door of Prophet to get to the reality of La ilaha illallah. And that's why Allah let my perfected one perfect you, dress you, give you good character, give you the laws and protocol of the Divine. And that's what we talked last night. Everybody now thinks they're a lamp and they're the chosen lamp, the best lamp, the greatest lamp that God loves them but they got no plug in. Because the only way that that lamp can be illuminated by the Divine is if they can plug into the power source. And the key to being plugged in is the character. So many hadiths people can go back and learn on their own. Allah comes to categories of people and drags them on their face. One who prayed a lot, who fast a lot, who jihad a lot and they came to Divine the Presence and Allah through their amal and their action. So awliya know that Allah doesn't need the actions, what He needs is the good character. As a result of the good character then we understand that, okay everyone wants to be a lamp, everybody wants to claim they're the chosen lamp but the only lamps that have light are the ones that have this magnetism and this character, good character. As a result of their good character there's a magnetic energy pulling them into the presence of Prophet because you can't do it on your own. Don't give credit to yourself and ourselves, we don't give credit to ourselves, it's not your cleverness you're sitting here. It's Allah's invitation that we sit here and that we represent, that we do, we do khidmat, we serve all over the world. It's not from our, our cleverness, Allah sent the invitation and gave to us an opportunity and as a result the magnet is being drawn into that presence. If not for the magnet of the heart of Prophet there would be no way to traverse these shaitans and devils of this dunya. And Abu Yazid al Bistami gave an example that when he was on his ascension into the Divine the Presence and he reached to an area in which he could communicate with this world of Malakut, said, I'm astonished all my life I thought I loved you. And as I enter into this presence I realized your love is more ancient for me than for you. That I, what I know of loving the Divine but this ancient love has been calling me. So it's a deep haqqaiq that we don't give credit to our brain and our cleverness and, oh no I found this on the internet, no the internet found this on you, you were guided to click. 
because there's a magnet in the heavens telling the soul, come. And those whom samina watana, they heard the call and they begin moving towards that reality. It's called magnetism. And all these nasheeds and all of these salawats teaching us that khudana kuna, that we pray Allah never to turn off that magnet. And the only thing that shaitan's interested in is to destroy that magnet. How does he destroy the magnet of this ishq and love? By fight, by hatred, by anger and bad character. So now everybody in school played with magnets. Everyone had to have magnetism classes in school where they teach you that how you can make an iron rod to have a magnetic power so that it can pick up the paper clips. At least in Western schools, I don't know about other schools around the world. Basic study of magnetism, how to magnetize a piece of iron and once it's magnetized how it can, the juzbah of attracting. And in the same course they taught you, well you can shift the magnetic pole and the polarization of the charge. If your magnet is pulling and you hit the magnet, you can reverse the polarity of that iron. So that which used to attract, if been hit what happens? Now it repels and no longer pulls. So then we see the role of shaitan is to hit. When we have this Divinely pull and calling to the presence of Prophet and asking, oh to my shaykh, to Prophet to divine the presence, don't let me to fall. The question or the reality is, don't let shaitan to play with you. Because the shaykh doesn't change the magnet and say, go away. Prophet doesn't change the magnet and say, go away. But the role of shaitan is to bring bad character and it's a hit onto the magnetic pole. To bring waswas and doubt so that the person begins to talk, say bad things, have bad thoughts, yell, scream, shout. Every time you yell, you shout, you scream, know that you're about to reverse the polarity of your magnet and is it worth it? Every battle you want to fight or you should fight only the life and death ones. But some people want to fight everything because shaitan overtakes them and they become shaitani. And they don't think it's anything wrong but what happens when you keep hitting that iron rod, iron rod, you keep hitting it, hitting it, hitting it until shaitan reverses the polarity and you find yourself not wanting to be with Allah astaghfirullah. Not wanting all this zikr and all this salawats and thinking you're clever, I don't need it now and you begin to, your magnet pull away from Prophet now imagine the home, if through these Divine graces people are not able to keep their magnetism and their charge, what do you think happens in a home? Which is the, the worst one because no one in the house has power. Means the immense magnetic force of Prophet is something that can't be comprehended and how shaitan can hit somebody so much and it all comes down to their khuluq. Think and go back and meditate, 
they may have lots of knowledge, they may have read many books but all of a sudden you see them, they left their religion, they're doing weird things on the internet. Or you may know somebody personally that walked away from their religion. But they had knowledge so it wasn't knowledge that saved them. Because some people come back, Shaykh, no it's the deen, it's the knowledge. No the deen is worthless on somebody whose heart and character is bad, it doesn't stick. It's a, like a, a flower on a rock, the root didn't go into the rock, a character becomes like a fertile soil. That you're not a flower on fertile soil, you become an evergreen tree in which your roots are eternally deep, deep in which your tree it weathers all storms, all tufan, that's what we sing in our salawats. That with this love and this love of the way their roots become so deep that they're green, always shining the Divine, the reality and not the wind and not the storm take them down because they're deeply rooted in this reality in Malakut. Their roots even reach all the way to Malakut. But without that what happens? People begin to go and leave and they don't ever stop and think about magnetism. They're not equating the arguing, the bad character, the bad actions, yelling, screaming, protesting, running here, screaming there, shouting. All the people whom think they're… because the evil people, straight out evil, they should know they're evil. But from all the world's religions, the people who think they are actually lamps and they actually think, no, no, God loves me, no, God loves me more, no, I'm chosen, God loves me the most. There's no love without character. There's no energy and no being plugged in without the good character. These are the dalils and the proof of that. As a result of good character they have an immense magnetism and they're drawn into the Divine, the Presence. That drawing keeps them within that Presence and they understood the whole game of shaitan is to disengage them from that magnet. And they don't play with shaitan, they understand this is his role. They understand that if bad character comes they lose the presence of Prophet This is for our spiritual path. No people want to find a partner using their brain and think they'll find the perfect partner over a period of time and say, okay through my brain you're going to remain perfect, absolutely not. Because all that is appealing through your eyes and through your ears and through all your senses has nothing to do with magnetism. It's only those senses that bring you together for five minutes. But if the person indulges in satanic character and allows shaitan to continuously whisper to them, fight with them, ignite them, what happens? Two magnets that were once connected, shaitan has hit so many times, reversed the polarity and there has absolutely no connection. All the talk in the world and all the, the counselling of this and this, if the polarity is changed and Allah gave a permission that, enough, you played with shaitan, he changed the polarity, then what happens when it's no longer juzba? It becomes, you repulse me. These are terms that in energy training is very real. When you're drawn to something it's because the magnet in your heart 
through your good character and that which you love that good and clean draws you to it. When people are looking for a partner in life, what they found of their outside senses brought them to love each other. If you want to keep the love, you have to learn about spirituality and energy. And the only way this magnet gets stronger is with good character. So it's about compromise, good character, khuluq. Not how much of the deen you know because you're going to be fighting all day long based on that. Because the reality of the deen is based on the khuluq because the higher more powerful one understands that this is based on character. I keep my connection to Allah to Prophet with good character the magnet is radiating. And the other partner if they're studying energy, studying the tariqah way, studying the ways of mannerisms, understand every time you open your mouth, every time you want to engage in something, are you shooting for this to be destroyed? Because you're allowing shaitan to hit the magnetic pole, hit the magnetic pole like we said before about anchoring. Allah saying, don't split what been joined. But when people engage shaitan and allow the negative energy life in this combative situations what's happening the polarity will flip. There is no magic to it. When the polarity flips the two individuals are repelling. So imagine trying to take two magnets and put them together, they absolutely have nothing, they cannot be brought back together because the polarity has flipped. So this is no different than with our children. We want our children to love us because now the magnetism people think is only for one thing, it's for every single thing in our existence because we're an energy being. People bring their 30 year old kids, 20 year old kids and say, make him good, he's not listening to me. Uh, let's go back into your magnet. Did you beat him enough that the polarity of his magnet has now nothing to do with you? Were you harsh? Were you hard? What did you do to this magnet? That Allah gave to you a magnet. And through good character, through good example, through love and good manners his natural inclination is to be with a juzbah to you. But because of arguing, yelling, disputing, fighting, all of these conditions he is now repulsed by you and it's nothing that is can be discussed but it's in the wujud. What we say, alif bayna qulubihim, right? Only Allah can change that polarity now. That Allah's izzah and might that He gave something said that the natural condition of this based on khuluq, not based on you knowing the deen and you force it on somebody, you yell at somebody, you scream at somebody and then come bring them to the shaykh and say, make him to be obedient to me and love me. Hmm? But had you been raised in tariqah and understood even we gave talks before, the original madad is the love. When you love your children but firm with them, you see, don't touch this hot pot it's going to, to burn you. Don't stick your finger in the electricity, it's going to scold you. So there is discipline but there's an immense love and as a result of that love and that character they understood what madad is because they love you and they bring you into their heart. And when you love your shaykh you bring him into your heart 
they immediately took the barakah of that madad and they're dressed by the shaykh because they don't know the love of the shaykh, they love the love of their parent. And if the parent did everything right, the parent is in the faiz and the dress of these lights. And the shaykh in the dress of Prophet ﷺ's faiz and brings these lights. And Prophet ﷺ in the dress of Allah and brings these lights. This is the completion of this circle of love where Prophet ﷺ described, you be with whom you love. Can you bring the love of Allah more powerful than Prophet ﷺ? No. So why try? Bring Prophet ﷺ into your life, you brought Allah Bring the love of the shaykhs and those who represent this love into your life, you bring the presence of Prophet Be good with your character and understanding and your children bring you into their life and as a result they got the shaykh, they got Prophet and they got Allah in their life. And this faiz and this light is always around them everywhere they go and everywhere they move. Our life is about magnetism, either we understand it, we build it and it's the good character. When you see somebody talking a lot about religion, a lot of things memorized, a lot of verses memorized but the character is off. In your heart and in your mind understand they're not plugged in, it's just a lamp. And now lamps can be deceiving, right? Because a fire, Siraj and Muniran was a source of warmth. The reality of light and illumination was that you would make a fire in your home. Why? To illuminate you and to give you warmth. So you had many benefits of illuminating your dark home. As we get near the end of time, we ended up with everything fake. Now when we turn our light on, it's not even hot because it's not even real. There's normally even heat coming from a bulb, it produces no energy. Why? Because this is a sign. We are now in a time that if anyone even looks like they're illuminated, they're LEDs man, you hold their head and their hand, there's no energy in them. This way of the sun, Shams al Arafin is a diya. The, the word that Allah used at Nabi Musa was a diya. Why? It's a fire. The light of reality is a divinely fire that has to enter into the heart. The heart has to become a shams, a sun in which people get light, warmth and energy and it's real. And it's all based on good character. Why? Because if you have good character Allah will be your teacher, ittaqullah wa alimukumullah. Who can teach better than Allah's Divinely Kingdom? We pray that Allah give us an understanding in a world that quickly now is collapsing. The understandings of Sayyidina Sulaiman is essential for this dunya right now. All who think they are with him and have his power, all who want to re-establish his palace, all of what's happening on this earth has to do with the realities of Sayyidina Sulaiman and that Prophet is the one in authority not the people of dunya and not the fake lamps for they're like LEDs, they're connected to nothing. No illumination, no real illumination. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. 
This is Shaykh Nur John. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.